heard rumors of that. I, uh... I have heard rumors of that. You gotta be careful. That's all I'll say. Gotta be careful. So we have empty. Playing Sheik. It's an interesting situation because I, I think his uh, his Samus would be pretty well equipped to deal with this matchup. I personally would not want to play against Samus as Polygon Kirby. I don't know how Sheik does. Um, it might be a little harder for Sheik to get in past you know the spacing tools that Kirby has. But I, I think uh, I think he's going all Sheik. Yeah, there's uh, there's actually uh, there's some apps like for doing magic tricks and stuff, where you could have you know like what gesture you use when you open the app, uh, select what shows up, or push the volume button or something. All sorts of sub subterfuge you could do if you really wanted to, but uh, yeah. Seems unlikely that it would actually happen, right? I like this grounded Kirby style from Jaime. It kind of reminds me of Boom. They've probably played over the years, so that might have uh, been an influence. Or maybe that was an influence on Boom. I don't know. I always noticed Boom has a very like grounded Kirby style that's quite difficult to deal with. I think this should be a good match. Unfortunately, it's really hard to see because of the stage, but uh, I'll do my best. Spain, <laughs> both of them just using these fares. The Sheik staying just outside of fair range. Oh, the walking up tilt shield pressure. He can't grab, so that's as best good as he's going to get. Oh, grabs the ledge. I thought you played uh, Yoshi. Oh, that tech away, really dangerous. Ooh, fantastic tech chasing there. I, I think empty, you know, didn't tech in the best directions. Oh, the fair catches him, okay. Sheik, as long as the ledge is available, I think Sheik's recovery is really strong. Tough mentally to remember you're playing against a Kirby. I don't think it's that hard when you're getting up tilted as much as empty is. He probably remembers. But I can see how it might be. Wait, it's a different victory theme. I wonder if all the uh, Polygon characters share that. That's pretty dominant. I wonder if we'll see the switch. Uh, I already explained this earlier, but you may not have been here. It's for a challenge. So the highest ranking w member of the tournament that uses exclusively Polygon characters uh, gets $50. So very much not trolling. There's real money on the line. Yeah, empty, I believe, uh, only goes uh, Sheik in Remix. He's been working on it quite a lot, doing a lot of Sheik R&D since the character came out. It's pretty funny, right? Because, uh, oh, so many of these SDs. Uh, in, in Melee, which I'm sure none of you guys have heard of, um, there's this stereotype of, of former Samus players switching to Sheik. Because Samus is pretty weak in Melee as well. It's only happened like maybe two or three times, but it's something people talk about. So then we see uh, Empty, the also the Samus player. <laughs> and you can see those those needles. You know, a real Kirby would have no trouble recovering there, but Polygon, once he's out of jumps, that's it. He's just gone. 
Yeah, Plup being the big one. I think Doc was experimenting with Sheik as well. There might have been one more I uh, slips my mind. This was kind of some time ago. Nice. Seems like Jaime really uh, understands Sheik's recovery well. I think Sheik, I've only played against her a bit, but my impression was the difference between like not understanding and understanding her recovery is pretty massive in terms of ability to edge guard her. Good DI there. But it really seems like MT is just struggling to get in. I mean, defense isn't his problem. Just can't find holes in neutral. Sheik's arrows, I guess, don't hit all that low. And Kirby's pretty short. Just a bit of a problem. Okay. Finds the down tilt to up air to get the kill. So this is looking a lot closer. Which makes sense, you know, with the skill level of the players. That was a nice bear, but you can't find anything off it. You know, that's... I feel like a bear like that needs to lead to something. Oh. And mistimes that dash in. Empty just having a really hard time getting in. Jaime. Such a careful and smart player. I mean, the guy has been playing for, what, like 15 years? Maybe more? I think his experience really shows. Plus, he has been grinding quite a lot of Remix Online. Honestly, it would not surprise me if Jaime won a, a Remix at this tournament. I don't know what happened to those needles. Just crashed under him. Empty on his last stock, but... Definitely still able to take the game here. It seems dangerous for Jaime to be in the air like this. That backer, easily kill him. Ooh, finds a fair, converts it. <laughs> Crouches under the fair, but you know, Kirby's so small, can't really get a punish. Jaime letting him back on the ledge. This pressure from Jaime though. Some of the range on Polygon's Kirby's moves, like it's not visible because uh, the hitboxes don't match up with the animation. They didn't really try that hard with the Polygon characters. A few of them are really bad. Uh, Pikachu is kind of infamous. The Polygon version doesn't have a tail. So all his tail moves are just invisible. Wow, how did that beat the F-Smash? It didn't even like play a sound. Jaime being really respectful of these recoveries. Tech in place. This pressure just over and over. Yeah, it can be really deceptive. And Jaime cleans it up. I felt like, you know, he just never exposed himself to, uh, to the move Sheik needs to hit. Wasn't getting dash attacks, wasn't getting tilted. That's that, you know, invisible part of the game 